Before I get into the video, I just wanted to ask that anyone who's interested to please wishlist Project Dagger and help get it to a thousand wishlists. We are just 80 away from such a big milestone and it would mean the world to me. So thanks and let's get into the video. So the last time I made any major devlog or update regarding Project Dagger has been about six months. In that time I had a large amount of overhauls but these did not amount to what I wanted in a game. So I went and did the unthinkable, which was create a game design document. I thought out and planned what I really wanted in a game, what the original scope of Project Dagger was, and what I hoped to accomplish. I realized that I constantly let scope creep get in the way and interfere with development and cause me to attempt to tackle a much bigger and more ambitious project than what I am currently capable of. I knew that I wanted a small project, a time frame of no more than two years, and the idea of an open world RPG with so many choices and systems was just not practical in that sense. So I began looking back at what Project Dagger was when it began and decided to revisit that idea. The idea was to create a retro FPS game that was driven by a narrative, have quests and goals, allow you to meet NPCs and incorporate RPG elements into a shoot 'em up. So I began working on a proof of concept with my design document and the response was quite good. My peers agreed that this was a wise decision and something that would be much easier to accomplish. So I set off, began tweaking systems, removing mechanics, and realizing the vision that I originally had. Whenever I was working on Project Dagger, I constantly added new mechanics that I thought would save the project. Things like skills, crafting, resource gathering, it was all a way for me to try to make what was an unenjoyable experience to be fun, which ultimately did not work. So I began using all the assets I'd already created and began making levels for the game. I knew that Project Dagger was going to have acts. So I wanted Act 1 to be around 2 hours long, and after its completion I would release the game as early access on Steam, and begin working on Act 2 and Act 3. The end goal of the project was to be a 5-6 to six hour experience start to finish, and have a fully realized quest line and multiple unique zones to explore and experience. Currently I have around 3 zones completely finished, with some other levels that I'm working on fitting into the narrative that are largely finished as well. This is around an hour 30 minutes to 2 hours worth of content, uh, but obviously it's not ready for release yet. I'm still tweaking things, still adding in quests and NPCs, and trying to make it as good as possible. Some other things I've done is overhauled the interaction system a few times, added in doors, triggers, levers, and try to create a system where levels were not just a straightforward path. These levels would require some level of environmental interaction. I'm still figuring out the level design portion of Project Dagger and how to make the levels engaging start to finish and not a repetitive mess. Most of this is done through the environments, the details, the enemies that you will encounter, as well as the mechanics of said enemies. Speaking of enemies, I reworked the enemy AI, which still needs some tweaking and adjustments, but overall is rather engaging for the time being. I set up a system where enemies, when they respawn, will pick one of three options. Charge straight at the player, flank left of the player, or flank right of the player. This way, they don't all just line up and come at you one at a time. You'll have to deal with enemies swarming both sides of you, in front of you, and then ranged enemies attacking from far back as well. I plan on adding in enemies that do area of effect attacks, summon smaller enemies until they die, and enemies that will run up to you and explode, and much more. While the AI itself is not anything spectacular, I know that having a variety of enemy types and mechanics will help create a really engaging experience. Some other work I did was I reworked the weapon system to use mana, ranged weapons fire fairly quick, allow you to hit enemies from afar without being hit, but once you run out of mana or they close that gap, you will then be able to switch to your melee weapon and begin slaughtering them up close. This creates a really interesting dynamic, and with the four item hotbar, you'll be able to have four weapons to use at any given moment. Weapons each will have some unique utility and mechanics like hitting multiple enemies at once or providing some other reasons for using them other than just giving you extra damage or attack speed. I also added in pickups for health, mana, money, and attribute points. And attribute points actually came from an old system of mine for character progression. I ended up keeping it as I think it will be a really neat way to allow players to decide what playstyle they want. Boost vitality, become a melee tank, or boost wisdom and have a large mana pool for ranged attacks. The system, I think, can actually be improved even more, so it's not truly uh, realized at this moment. I also worked on updating the movement to be a bit more fluid, added sway to the weapons to make them feel a bit more alive, added view bobbing and effects to the camera to give it almost a quake-like feeling when running around the levels. Overall, this is actually the first time I've felt really confident in my skills and abilities, and confident in something that I've created. Just being able to play my game for an hour and not get bored or run out of things to do is an amazing feeling that I cannot express with words. 
Knowing that my project is more like a game rather than just some prototype has been a huge morale boost and I cannot wait to release it and have all of you experience it for yourselves. I plan on doing these devlogs now every week, so be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with what I'm doing. I have a Discord if you're into that, linked in the description, and I really recommend you to wishlist the game on Steam, as it helps me out a lot, it's completely free, and just takes two clicks, so please wishlist it now. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.